Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a good day today. So in this video, it's going to be a little bit about my first time visit at the Aquarium of the Pacific. Really amazing place, but mostly it's all about a very talented young girl named Danny Bowman. That is a very good friend of mine. At age 11, Danny Bowman became the founder of a company called Danimations Entertainment. She has worked professionally in the animation industry since 14. Premiering nine award-winning animated short films at San Diego Comic-Con each year for the past eight years. She also has a passion of teaching young animators how to do animation and helping them make their animated short films. And if you want to know more about Danny Bowman, I encourage you to check out her website, DannyMationEntertainment.com. I'll leave a link in the description. So without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm here at the aquarium representing for Danimations and this is their desk set up here and that's Patrick. What's up Patrick? Hello. Just getting everything set up. Just doing setup. And this is my very first time being here and I think it's very incredible. And it's one of the staff members over there. How are you doing Peter? Good. Pretty good. And a lot of customers are coming in too. And you can see right behind me. And you can also tell how big this place is. I think these guys are called China Rockfish. They give you labels right down here. They also have descriptions. Really cool, I've never seen plants like this. I don't know if that's like a live fish. So Danny Bowman is setting up in her classroom right now, so I'm gonna get some of that. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was trying to get it. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Looks like he was gonna play fetch with you too. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. That's adorable. Hi Danny. How are you? I'm good, how are you? This, this is animation. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs> if Evelyn just likes to enjoy drawing and doll scribbling, that's so it's fun for her. Okay. Hello everyone. Oh. Welcome to Dee Nation Entertainment oh. Animation Class. Oh. Oh. I am your teacher. I am Dee Dee Bowman. We have fun and love oh. and structure. Welcome to the world of animation. So anyways, this is our one of our assistants, Zoe Ramos. She is right now passing out the, the flip book so the kids can just definitely play. So please have a seat, you guys, because we're definitely getting the animation demonstration started. So, before we can get started with the animation, I am Danny Bowman, and the founder and chief creative officer of the animation entertainment. And I am also a person on the autism spectrum. So, before we can get started with the flip books, I am definitely going to be showing you the animation reel with some of the work. So, these are the books that I've illustrated and published. I've been running my animation company, Danimation Entertainment, for the past 10 years. I've illustrated and published six books, and I've premiered nine animated shorts at San Diego Comic Con, and I traveled around the country teaching animation to youth, children, teens, and then young adults on the autism spectrum. These are some of the animations that I've done over these years. So on your table, 
makes motion. Of course, it makes motion. When you flip with a flip book from one page to the other, the drawing is coming to life. This is one of the newest additions to um, our flip books today. So we have one by Disney. This is Disney's The Little Mermaid aerial animation. That's how animation is done, frame by frame, back in the old days when they do traditional animation. What you also see is some blank flip books. So with the flip books, the blank flip books, what you do is you definitely draw from one page and then you go to your other page and do a different drawing. And then you do a different drawing and so on and so forth. You can draw whether you want with your flip books. Is this one of the flip books? Uh-huh. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. Well, I'm in the ball. <laughs> draw from one frame to the other, a frame or a drawing. You do one drawing, then you flip it, and then you do a different drawing, and then you see how the motion moves. I'm gonna pick something like a rainbow, because I want yes. something happening. Okay. You can actually do a motion of a rainbow coming to life. It goes from red, and then goes... So start with maybe a part of the rainbow, not yes. the whole rainbow. Okay, let me try. Oh, that is so good. So I got this. Does it have to be in the same place? No, it can move. It can move. Yes. Yeah. Okay, you just so have to go drawing the different place. That drawing the different. Okay, it's gonna move. It's gonna go oh down here, and then it's gonna go here, and it's gonna add. We're gonna add this. Is this is this working? Yes. So yeah. far, I got the idea. Okay, good. I think I got it. Okay, and I can add rainbow. I can add clouds. I can add everything now. I keep adding. Okay, so I think I I think I got this. This is totally fun. Awesome, great job. Thank you. Well, this software I'm showing you right now is called Toon Boom Harmony. So what I'm going to be showing you is I'm going to be start doing a bouncing ball. Let me just zoom out for a second, and I'm showing you all kinds of cool tools that I'm using. I'm going to use what it's called the brush tool in Toon Boom Harmony. You know why I'm starting the bouncing ball from right here? I start right from the edge, as you could see. What happens if I move to the next page? How many frames does it take to make a second? Here's a trivia. Let me give you a hint. What is three times eight? That's right, 24 frames a second. So what do I do to show the drawing? As you can see highlighted red, that is my previous frame. Green represents next frame. Red represents the previous frame. As you can see, as I flip back and forth, as I go through my bouncing ball, I go from first, second, and third. Now I have my third frame in between. After I turn off my onion skin, I can see some results as I draw. Let's see it bounce, shall we? I'm gonna draw some more frames. You see what I'm doing is I go from one frame to the other. You see that the ball is going to bounce up. It's going through its gravity, as you can see that the ball is going to bounce. So watch this. Let me tone this down to 12 frames per second. You see how that works? This is what it looks like in a 12 frame per second preview. And I am definitely gonna add some more frames. Once I turn back my onion skin, the ball is going to make its impact again. Now, as you can see, that the ball is moving across the frame. This is 12 frames a second right now. But the big animation standard is 24 frames per second. It's not just have to be about animation, it can also be about character designs too. Now that I just finished the frame, I'm gonna start playing it again. Watch as I play this again. Did you see that? <laughs> now that Kirby's just bouncing from one frame to the other, now what I'm gonna do is I am going to add a background. Let me just go to File, Import Images. In Harmony, you can do all kinds of great things, all kinds of cool possibilities. Let's choose the gym. So once I insert my background in, now I have what is called a foreground and a background. <laughs> Kirby's bouncing in the gym. Is this a gym? Yep. <sighs> <laughs> oh 
But now the next face is, I am definitely gonna color Kirby. Let's make a blue Kirby, shall we? And I'm going to definitely look for the colored feet for, Kirby, for the blue Kirby. There we go. Then I clean up the lines before I color Kirby. You know why it's important to clean up? So that way you get your clean up lines before you start coloring. Clean up before you color. That's the rule when you're doing animation. Did you know that Disney Animation Studios' job was called colorist? Cell coloring. I'm not telling because it's gender biased, but it's true that happens in the animation industry. Men were definitely the first animators, while the women are usually the first colorists. Back in the old days when they would start cell painting, can you also imagine what it takes to create a feature film, an animated short, or a TV series pilot? If you want to look up our website, you can just look up Danny Bowman at DannyMationEntertainment.com. This is the official website for Danny Mation Entertainment if you want to learn more details. That's the actual website. You can just look up our news, you can look up about us, projects like our animated shorts. We have a collection of all kinds of animated shorts and upcoming projects. We also have programs for some upcoming camps if you're interested. This is Danny Bowman and I will be there at the booth if you want to learn more information about Danimation Entertainment and some upcoming Danimation Entertainment projects. Anything is possible. I can do it, so can you guys. That's me. That is definitely important. And Danny is actually our honor me for our festival this year. So please, I hope if you're around at one party, we will be honoring her at the festival this year. And this is our 17th annual festival of, of, of human abilities. So thank you very much, Danny. This is a wonderful class. Thank you. This is Zoe, and she's Danny's assistant. How long have you been her assistant? Uh, like last summer in her animation camp. One time, once, and uh, today, here today. And you're liking it so far? Yeah, I like assisting her. I wish I would have been able to um, get your animation in there. She does really good at her animation. I saw some of it, and there were some voiceovers. Did you hear friends? Uh, yeah, my friends over at her class in, uh, in uh, Van Nuys called uh, Spec Labs, and uh, I was one of the voices of one of the mice minions in my short. Well, thanks for having me intro you. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Diane. Diane? Yeah, but... Okay. So Diane's going to show us her, her animation. All right, I don't know if I can do it. Well, I don't yeah, think... I got it. I can got you do it, Jeremy? Uh -huh. He has the hands for this. <laughs> He's the jewelry maker. <laughs> Oh, uh, that looks tough. Maybe Eric's gonna have to do it. <laughs> Goose hair. It's hard to do. Oh, he got it. Yeah. Well, just because we And that's what she did. Did it move? I saw some of it move, but <laughs> yeah, we're that was that. the point. <laughs> Let me see. The story. It oh, moved oh, she's from the sky to the. So this is the starting point, I yeah. guess, with the rainbow. Um, do you want me to just do it more slowly, like that, or like that? You want me to do it like that? Sure. Okay, that's gonna take a while. Okay, but I'll just do it. The rainbow. You know what? I don't even know how it looks supposed to work, so. Okay. It's like. Just do it for you, like this. Okay, it goes rainbow, and then what happens to it? it and then it turns into some birds, right? Oh, oh clouds? No, it's turning into a cloud. <laughs> Cloud, birds, and there's birds. the birds, there's the birds. Birds and stars, and they can, they can stars and moon, space. or sky, or a planet, or whatever, I don't know what that is. It looks like the moon. Moons, more moons, okay, moons, bananas, moon. I thought there were waves. <laughs> waves, they are, there's, it's getting into waves. And I don't know, the waves turned into a road, and then turned into a little sparkle thing. Oops, I uh, missed one. Uh, and they exploded. It exploded, oh, it's an explosion. Stars. A little some more other kinds, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a snowflake. How'd that happen? <laughs> okay. 
this just ends kind of blah. <laughs> Good job. Good job, though. Oh, thank you. I have tons of fun. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I've never been upstairs before, so that's where I'm going to be going to. Since Danny Bowman is finished with her teaching, I'm gonna check up what how it looks upstairs. Might get a really good view up here. So given the fact this is my first time being at the Aquarium of the Pacific, I think it would be a good time to explore and share my thoughts. And let me tell you that this place has a lot to offer. Upstairs, they have a touchscreen table that gives you a quiz about saving energy or the best way about how the community can farm for more food without running out. It's like being in an arcade without using quarters because learning is free. I had this in my living room. Imagine playing video games with this. My exploring doesn't stop there. There were a lot more that the aquarium had to offer. Is this mist? It looks foggy in there. I've never seen an aquarium with fog coming out. I'm trying to feel if there's mist in the air, but just a little bit, I can feel it in my face. After coming across a misty fish tank I had never seen before, I later found these cute little guys called the Puffin and a rhinoceros alkalate. Look at this little guy right there. He has a corner for himself. After having my fill of exploration around the interior of the building, I thought it was about time to head outside where more attractions can be found. Like a group of black stingrays. Or watch a show of seals and sea lions or have your photo taken sitting next to penguins that are statues. Sort of reminds me of a big bully type of penguin. I've never seen a huge penguin before like that. This place also has like an outside gift shop and you'll find it right in the back. You'll have anything you want, like this little octopus, the little dolphins right here. Yeah, and look, they even got Finding Nemo right there. This is what a scuba suit can look like up close, you can come see, and you can also feel how it feels. I want to someday scuba dive, that'd be awesome. Hey Patrick, can I become a student too? Yes, you become a student. Ask me how. How can I become a student? Visit dannyacademy.com to sign up. And this is one of their flyers, Danimation Entertainment, Animation Studios, and Industry Talent Development. And these are like a group of people, very happy doing uh, animations with Danny. And this is another demonstration of one of Danny's animations. And one of the students. I don't think that's one of her animations, but it must be one of the students' animations. Look how happy that kid is. He probably made that. So imagine making your own cartoons and doing voiceovers with your friends. You can do that. That's what a, one of Zoe's that I interviewed did it with somebody with her classmates. And it came out very impressive. Hi, Zoe. And Zoe did uh, one of her, how many uh, animations did you do? You just did just one? Yeah. Only just one? How, so how many are you going to be planning to do more? Um, well, I do one every every year, I think. Yeah, because it takes a while, depending on how, how long it is. Well, I can just imagine, because you had help last time with Danny, right? Yeah. And you think you can do it yourself? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm more advanced now, now that I, I have taken that class for like a Two and, a half, two and a half years now. Well, thank you again for uh, the interview. You're welcome. And what are you doing right now? You're assisting with Danny? Uh-huh. And everybody's signing in. These are like sign-in sheets probably. Or, this is a sign-in sheet or, or something else? Um, I, I think it's something else. Oh. I'm not sure. Oh, this gives like an idea about maybe like how prices, because I see prices is here. There's a book.
the Vice President of Human Resources here at the Aquarium of the Pacific, and I want to thank you all for joining us for the 17th Annual Festival of Human Abilities. It's our celebration, highlighting the creative talents and abilities of people with disabilities. And during the Festival of Human Abilities, the Aquarium honors individuals and organizations for outstanding community service and for promoting awareness. Today, the Aquarium is honored to present the Glenn McIntyre Heritage Award to Danny Bowman. Woo! The Danny Fan Club, yay! Woo! Woo! Danny's been involved with the Aquarium and the Festival for nearly a decade. Danny is on the autism spectrum. Joey Travolta of Inclusion Films. Joey 
was my first client who believed in me and opened so many doors for me just by believing in me. I went on to do my best to pay it forward by reaching out to other young adults, young artists with different abilities, including autism, to hopefully inspire them to follow their dreams. One of the ways I did was here at the aquarium by having a booth each year, doing animation demos, showing posters of my work, and talking to as many young people and parents as possible to encourage them to always follow their dreams. I'd like to acknowledge all of the outreach by the Aquarium of the Pacific to be inclusionary and involve people of all abilities by not only hosting today's event, but also various events like Abilities Night and the Autism Family Day and Night. Finding talent in autism is very important for employment because my belief is that people with different abilities can demonstrate their abilities as shown he here at this festival. 10 years ago, when I first started Dini Nation Entertainment at age 14, I originally wanted to just run my own animation studio. However, because I have autism, I was researching as much as possible about autism. I came across the grim statistics about autism and employment. Currently, there are one in 59 born with autism. Moreover, 35% of young adults ages 19 to 23 with autism do not have a job or, or have received postgraduate education after leaving high school. And only 19.2% of people with disabilities are employed full time according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Individuals who love animation and the arts are completely overlooked in the workplace despite their unique and amazing creative skills. The more I research, the dimmer my future seemed because I came across all sorts of different negative issues that we on the autism spectrum face from the potential employers. Parents of children with autism, including my own parents, are often told by the professionals that we may never amount to anything, that we may never finish school, that we may never make friends, that we may never find work or live independently. Some parents believe all this mumbo jumbo, and we grow up believing this as well. Parents and caretakers are the only ones who really understand and know us, and no one should set limits on us. The only ones that we could set limits is ourselves. For example, I do not accept the limits that were placed on by me, by the quote-unquote professionals, I am not a statistic. I did finish high school with a 4.0 in 2013. I did get my BFA in animation at Woodbury University two years ago, and now I am getting my MBA with a focus on global strategy and leadership because I want to learn how to better run my company that I started since age 14. And I am continuing on for my PhD. You are the first to hear it. This is the first time I talk about it publicly about going for my PhD. Ever since I started Dini Mation, I've been working really hard to build my brand name and to demonstrate to the business world where what is possible as a person with autism. Over the years, I illustrated and published six books and premiered nine animated shorts at San Diego Comic-Con, eight years traveling around the country teaching animation to youth with autism, and keynoted at autism and employment conferences and events. Deanimation's goal is to help bring people of all abilities, including autism, into employment in the media and entertainment industry, including animation. My hope is that our mission will benefit society by helping people with autism and other different abilities build their confidence and learn that they can indeed use their skills for a career path. Deanimation has four programs. The Animation Summer Boot Camp is where we discover new talent, 
which I've been doing around the country for the past eight years. Last summer, we started two new camps, the Montrose Animation Camp here in Los Angeles, California, and a UK camp at Plymouth University. The next program, the Skill Development Program, consists of a semester-based course. The third program, one-on-one -on -one mentorships, consists of teaching youth individually in areas where they might need extra help. And lastly, the career preparation program is where we help them with career preparation and placement. Danimation Entertainment provides talent development for artists on the autism spectrum while also delivering award-winning 2D animation for entertainment and industry. Our mission is twofold, providing an autism-positive learning environment, supporting growth in technical and interpersonal skills while delivering exceptional 2D animation to our clients. At our programs, when we teach students, we can see incredible transformations from having no animation experience to becoming confident individuals that can create original animated shorts. For example, one of my students who is here today, Zoe Ramos, Zoe, she's right here. She was, Zoe Ramos was a little shy when she first attended one of my classes during spring of 2018. She was 15 at that time. After she completed her first semester, she spent another two semesters on her first animated short, which I mentored one-on-one, -on -one, which ended up being accepted and premiered at San Diego Comic-Con in summer 2019. She has become so confident that she was one of my assistants at our first camp, first summer camp in Montrose, California. And she assisted me earlier this morning at a class I did here. Now she's in the process of producing her second animated short, The Princess and the Squash. Not bad for a 17-year-old, huh? I am so proud of you, Zoe. Do you have something to say, Zoe? I, I'd like to thank you, thank everybody for uh, coming here today and uh, I hope to uh, uh, make new, more new projects for in the future sometime and uh, I love, I love being with Danny and uh, I think, I want her, her, her uh, animation program to, uh, I hope her animation program goes uh, well for everybody with different disabilities and for, for the future. summer boot camp for ages 10 to 22. If you're interested in participating, please see us at the booth underneath the whale. It's over there in the back where Ruth Elliott Hilton is. It's been a challenge to figure out how to incorporate the autism community in the animation industry. Many people with autism love animation and the arts. The reason could be because we have a hard time expressing ourselves. And the, and the visuals of animation and the arts may be our creative way of communication. I am confident that everything in my plan is achievable and can be done because I have been doing it myself for more than 10 years. I recognize the needs of my peers and I am trying my best to provide services that will help my community and demonstrate to the business world that we are capable if just given the proper training and a chance. And also sh show to my peers that anything is possible. People with autism are, are an untapped resource and companies have to learn how to bring neurodiverse workers on board or get left behind because I am creating a company that will create competition. I have one final remark. For the parents and caregivers, listen to what your child says and encourage them to pursue their career utilizing their creative talent. Well, no matter what it is, including animation, all they need is a loving push. 
Personally, I always had a team of my, on my side that has helped me get where I am. Although I am very driven, I could not do it without the proper help from my team. It would have been extremely difficult to achieve my goals without their help, support, and encouragement. For, for my peers, if you are stuck, don't be afraid to ask for help from your family and friends to help with your dreams. Anything is possible. If I can do it, so can you. And remember, if anyone tells you you can't do this or you can't do that, look at them straight in the eye. Uh, well, it's hard for us to have eye contact. You can just look up straight in the chin or at the nose or the forehead. Believe me, they won't know the difference. Just look straight and say, and say, yes, I can and I will. Just watch me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the special honor and thank you to the aquarium for being an example of recognizing people with different abilities and potential. Thank you. if I touch this. That is so cool. I'm gonna scare the fish. I'm gonna scare the fish. I'm gonna scare them. Get away. Step on the fish. <laughs> Later that evening, once the event had ended, Everyone went home, the aquarium started to close. Me, Danny, and her family, Aunt Sandy and Uncle Patrick, we all stayed in Long Beach to have dinner at a yard house restaurant that was close by. We later arrived back to Danny's house around 8 p.m. where I had my car. Danny, Sandy, and Patrick assisted I should stay the night to be safe from driving home so late. But I like driving at night. Plus, my house was only an hour and 30 minute drive from where they live. I'll give you a call, text you guys. But thanks so much for inviting. Thank you so much. I'll make sure, um, I'll text you when I get back home and so Thank that you way you know all. I'm very safe. Yes, you need to text us when you get home. I'll, I'll make sure I'll text you guys and say oh, I'm safe, I'm back home. <laughs> One, two, three, selfie. Selfie. Take care. Bye, <laughs> guys. Bye-bye.